him his spirit was born Thara they named him Thara like the wind like the wind that is free Thara they named him Thara to be king of the bush his destiny in the secret mountain veins through the mist and ancient trees runs the ghost like horse so proudly silent as the breeze Thara they named him Thara he's the son of the wind strong and free Thara they named him Thara and the king yes the king Karawong probably suffered most from Wombat's disastrous attempt to take his family on holidays. But whether Wombat himself learnt any lessons from the adventure or from his rudeness is hard to say. But the holiday did discover a newcomer to the high country, Gunda, the filly from the south, who had come in search of her lost young brother. Stupendous stud. Have you been gallivanting around enjoying yourself when you should have been working? Enjoying myself? But your exalted concupiscence, I've scarcely recovered from being trampled by wombats. Then you... F <laughs> ah. I'm not interested in your feeble excuses. You were shirking, Karawong. And no one likes a shirker. Oh, no, your limited convergence. I well, if you weren't shirking, you were working. So, what have you got to report? Report? What have I got to report? Well, uh... ah, just as I thought. Nothing. No sign of that filly who escaped thanks to Thaura's interference. But I've searched and searched and I... No buts, Karawong! Get airborne and search again till you find her. But, but... No buts, I said! Now get going. Going, going. Good as gone. But... <laughs> What do you say? Interested in joining my herd? Nothing's changed, Arrow. We're not interested in joining your herd. Even if one existed. Oh, yeah. Well, that was before. Things are different now. You've had time to think, to weigh up the possibilities, to see how impressive I am. <laughs> and to change your mind. Mm, it's that dolt Arrow. At it again with my master's daughters. Doesn't he ever give up? Look, girls! The Brolg is getting too old for the job! Won't be long before I take over his kingdom and his herd! And you two could be head mares. If you play your cards right, you won't regret it. Well, if you put it that way, Arrow... It does sound tempting, doesn't it? I suppose we could think it over again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you whispering? And where is the filly? Uh, uh, which question do you want answered first, O Sybil and Satyr? The reason I was whispering is... <laughs> that was not the question, and there's no reason to whisper when there's no one about. Now tell me about the filly. Uh, the filly? Well, yes, I found Arrow. What are you babbling about, you odious wretch? I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about whispering. I ask you about the filly, and you tell me about Arrow. 
What about the filly? But your loquacious mendaciousness, I'm just trying to explain. I was on my way to find her when I spotted Arrow trying to get your daughters to join his head. <laughs> Fancy that oafish dolt thinking any daughter of mine would have anything to do with him. Uh, but it's been a dull day so far. We're going to have some fun. Come on! Coming. Oh, enigmatic uniqueness. I'm as strong and brave as your father, as you've probably noticed. But of course, he's much older and more experienced and... He'd be pleased to hear you say that, Arrow. Yeah, well, anyway, one day soon I'll beat him. And then it'll be me up there, King of the Brumbies. Won't be long. Why don't you tell him yourself, Arrow? <laughs> yeah? Well, I might. If he was ever game to get too close to me, I'd... I... What, like now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not going after him, sir? You almost had him. Ah, it's too easy. No challenge in Arrow. He never learnt the skills of the chase like Thaura. Arrow's a wimp. Won't see him for a while, your vociferous vocalness, eh? Uh, Arrow or Thaura? Arrow? Oh, you won't see Thaura. He's too smart and light on his feet. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that Thaura is too smart and too scared of you to approach your daughters. <laughs> Fancy Arrow thinking he could impress those fillies. Speaking of fillies, what about the one from the south? I gave you a job. What? The, the uh, uh, well, who? Uh, pardon? To find her and find out all about her. Oh, but I'm exhausted. So? <sighs> so, I'm going. <laughs> so fit and so strong. What a magnificent young stallion, isn't he? Who is he, Kookaburra? <laughs> hmm, peculiar bird. Perhaps that Brumby is the one my father sent me to find and get help from. And handsome. Handsome? Well, there's so many, aren't there, Mew? Oh, indubitably. Many handsome Brumbies. Brave. Not a lot of brave. Uh, quite a lot of reasonably courageous. Or not easily scared. Oh, a lot of not easily scared. And strong. Ah, strong. Uh, yes, well, I always find strength a hard notion to clearly define. Perhaps... And chestnut. Chestnut? Arrow? Oh, couldn't be arrow. Handsome, brave, strong, fast. No, not arrow. I oh, don't know who you're talking about. Sorry we couldn't be of more help. Out of the way, out of the way. Ouch! Step aside, step aside. Wombat coming through. Oh, it's you, Wombat. Perhaps you know the chestnut stallion I've seen. Chestnut, black, grey, silver, brown, I know them all. And they're always where they shouldn't be, in me way. But this one is special. <laughs> no time to gossip. Things to do. Hey. Oh, look out of it. If it's not a Brumby, it's a flaming kangaroo. Hmm. There's no doubt about Wombat. He needs a path all of his own. Benny! Good to see you. How are you? Gunda, I've been looking for you. Thara knows you're here. If we wait down by the river, perhaps he'll meet with you. Come on, I'll show you the way. But how will I know if it's Thaura? You'll know, Gunda. A future king is always easy to spot. Hmm. Actually, 
I think I've seen him already. Galloping with the wind. A magnificent chestnut stallion. Chestnut? That's not Thara. <laughs> it is possible on a hazy day to mistake Arrow for a magnificent stallion. Could have been him. What do you mean? If it was this Arrow you mentioned, he must come from a proud and noble family. He and Thara had different mothers but the same father. The mighty Yaraman, most noble king of the Cascade Brumbies. We southerners know of the mighty Yaraman. The chestnut is his father's son. Takes more after his mother. A mean-spirited, boastful mare if ever I saw one. I have to go now, Gunda, but you'll be safe here until Thara arrives. But just a word of advice. Beware of the Brolga. He's Thara's sworn enemy. Yes, I've already had one encounter with him. I'm told it was Thara who headed him off. I'll be on my guard. <laughs> Looking for a strong, brave young horse. Who is? The filly. What filly? The one from down south. Beautiful she is. Young and beautiful. Oh, yes, indeed. And looking for a young, brave, strong chestnut. I, I wonder, wonder who, who she, she means. means. Hmm. I've no idea. No. <laughs> there she is. Oh, Thara, I'm so pleased to meet you at last. The pleasure's all mine, Gunda. I... I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. <laughs> I want to thank you for saving me from the Brolga. Bah, humbug. He won't be so mighty when good old Brolga gets to hear of this. <laughs> the Brolga's spy? I wonder what he's up to. Boon Boon, look down there. Thara. But... but look who's with him. I'm sure... I'm almost sure that's my sister. Your sister? Talking to Thara. I never thought I'd see her again, or any of my family. Best wait here till they finish chatting. Then we can find out everything. Does this mean I'll have to go home, Boon Boon? I love my sister, but I also like it here with you and Thara. We'll find out soon enough, don't worry. Whatever happens will be for the best. My father's getting old. He was torn with grief when the wild storm scattered our herd. He thought his favourite son was gone for good. Then we heard news of an orphan foal far to the north. Hmm. I think your search may well be over, Gunda. And mighty Brolga, she thinks Thara is the greatest. The greatest what? You know your educated effectiveness. The greatest. <laughs> the way Thara saved her from you is the talk of the high country. <laughs> <laughs> the kookaburras are laughing about it. The emus are the, the, the gossiping about it. <laughs> all right, all right, you're all powerful. This enough, enough. Show me where they are, Karawong. This instant. Aye, aye, mighty Magnifico. <laughs> Urala, I was afraid I'd never see you again. Me too, sis. You're a sight for sore eyes. He's been well looked after, Gunda. And learnt a lot. You couldn't get better teachers than Thara and Boon Boon. I can see Urala's very happy here. And by the look of it, doesn't want to leave. But your father... We'll be very pleased to know that his son has such good friends and mentors. He'll know it's for the best. It's not that I don't love you and father, Gunda. And I do want to see the herd again. It's just... I know, little one. But the day will soon come when you have to take up your rightful position as leader of our herd. Let's hope for your father's sake. That isn't too soon. When the time comes, Urala will know, and we'll make sure he heads south with our blessing and our love. We'll leave you two to spend some time together. Come on, Thara. Benny? <laughs> I was fast and strong, did she? Very impressed she was. I asked everyone about you. Best finder, eh? Introduce myself. Impress her. Show her what I'm made of. Could, 
be a good idea. Hmm, could be. According to legend, the mighty Yaraman brought his herd to this place many years ago. The mighty Yaraman? Thara's father, right? Right. Well, this was his kingdom until... <laughs> we meet again. I am the Brolga. The mighty Brolga. King of the Cascade Brumbies. Of all the Cascade Brumbies and feared by all. And you are a stranger. A very beautiful stranger, so I'm told. Not being a Brumby myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are a stranger trespassing on my territory. However, if you want to join my herd, you may be able to stay. Where we come from, we welcome a stranger who comes in peace, not challenge them. My father is a king, and he doesn't need any mangy bird to speak for him. <laughs> mangy? I heard that. I came to find my brother, and now I have found him. And I will go home and tell my father of the rudeness of the king of the north. I wouldn't stay in any land ruled by a king I didn't respect. Yeah, so there. What? Why? <laughs> Don't take any lip from the mercurial meanness. Go thrash them, sire. He's after us, Hirala. Run for it. Just have vanished. I'm not really afraid of the Brogus, sis. Oh, yes, you were very brave, but we must be cautious. Where is that Karawang when I need him? We could find them in an instant. The Broga again. <laughs> what? Why, then? He always turns up when he's least wanted. Come on, Broga! Catch me if you can! <laughs> oh no, Thaura! Not this time! I'm staying right here till that filly emerges. Thaura's ploy hasn't worked. The Brolga hasn't budged. Patience is a virtue. If I wait long enough, something will happen. And when it does... Uh -huh. Look, it's the chestnut. Chestnut is right. That's Arrow. Oh, it's her. It's my admirer. <laughs> Hi, guys! Shh, be quiet. Stay away. <laughs> I heard you're looking for a brave, strong, fast chestnut stallion. Not anymore. You've probably given us away. We're hiding from the Brolga. Uh, this warrants investigation. <laughs> While you have the chance. <laughs> you two make such a charming couple. Your time will come, Thaura. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> Bra. 
Bravo, stupendous El Supremo, that's the way. You cool off after giving that arrow a much needed thrashing. <laughs> Oh, what a charge! What a charge! And did you see the way the others scattered? <laughs> Terrified they were, mighty Mastodon. Your reputation of being the fiercest, strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies ever is now beyond dispute. Dispute? Dispute? Since when has there ever been a dispute? Oh, uh, well, there are those that say, uh, that say, uh... Say what, Karawan? Spit it out. That, that say, in fact, that uh, Thara's father, the mighty Yaraman, was... Mighty Yaraman? <laughs> I crushed the mighty Yaraman in battle and took his herd. Absolutely, sire. That's what I keep telling them. And the fact that he was twice your age had no... <laughs> What was that about age, Karawang? Uh, nothing in it, sire. That's what I told him. Just like there's nothing in the idea that just because you're twice Thaura's age, it won't be long before... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the old war horse missed me that time. <laughs> <laughs> If only I could get my beak around a screen. Did you see me? Straight up that hill and boy, did I give the Brogger a well-deserved hiding. I did it to save you and your Alagoona. No thought for my own safety. Oh, gee, Arrow, I, I don't know how to thank you. We watch out for each other. So I see. Your is safe here and he's in good company. No need for me to stay around. I'll give them the good news that he's still alive. It's a long journey. Take care. Maybe someone should go with you. It'll be my pleasure, Gunda. I know the way. And as I was telling you, I'm the bravest horse in the high country. Couldn't think of anyone better. Yes! It's a great idea. I could do with a change of scenery. Who knows? Might even like it down south. Hmm. Might even stay. Oh, well, Arrow, it's a very generous offer, but I'm sure I'll be all right on my own. <laughs> oh, well, well, let me think about it overnight. So Arrow is thinking of leaving the high country. He seems to have taken to Gunda a lot more than she has to him. But does she really want Arrow to tag along with her? At least she knows that her young brother is going to be in good hands. <laughs>